We have some new reporting tonight on the refugee families who could lose their homes in Montgomery County. We first told you about this problem back in September. Families from Syria and Afghanistan say they cannot pay rent for the housing they were placed in last year. Money to help them has run out. Our Matt Gregory has some new details about this issue in Silver Spring. And Matt, you know, we've been talking about this issue again for a while now. So what's happening here? What's next? Yeah, so Lorenzo, these aid agencies were brought here to resettle, right? Or rather, the aid agencies brought the families here to resettle. And then a year later, they're still struggling to find work. They're struggling to learn the language and struggling to pay rent. All things the families say that aid workers had promised them they would do. So I called the aid agencies. We talked with two of the 50 refugee families served notices at the Enclave Apartments in Silver Spring. Zakaria Kairala and Ghulam Mohammed Mirzai both talked to me, but they had to have the help of a translator. When we came here to the U.S., we didn't see the support. That's the story both told me. Nonprofit refugee aid groups resettled them at these apartments in Silver Spring. They told him that as soon as you arrive, since you have a special need, you don't have to worry about the rent. But both say the aid agencies were big on promises, short on delivery, as in thousands of dollars in unpaid rent. The resettlement agency replied that we cannot help you. I called the aid agencies to ask them, how did this get so out of hand? The Ethiopian Community Development Council did not respond, and the International Rescue Committee sent me a statement saying, quote, the IRC is troubled that some of our clients have been affected by the ongoing eviction concerns with a particular housing complex in Montgomery County. And while some of our clients have resided in this complex, we ceased placing new arrivals in this complex earlier this fiscal year because of repeated issues. Now, they wouldn't elaborate on the issues, but the IRC finished saying they are engaged with officials in the area to find solutions. In the absence of answers from the aid agencies... The goal is to try to keep people housed, obviously. Montgomery County Councilwoman Kristen Mink is one of the county leaders working to find a solution through emergency rental funding from the county. Well, the council goes on recess in mid-December, so we would need something from the county executive for the council's consideration very, very soon. To get the refugees into stable housing and back to resettling in their new home. And now we're not done. We're going to continue to try to speak with these refugee aid agencies because we want to know where did the resettling for these 50 families go wrong? Matt yeah. Gregory, WSA. We know you'll stay on top of it, Matt. Thank you.